Hey everyone, how's it going? So in my Tesla Model Y here with the Top Fit instrument cluster display that we review in a past video. And a few viewers asked how much airflow does it block when you have the AC or heater on? Because that's a huge concern for a lot of people that are interested in their instrument cluster. This is more of a slim design and from behind is angled at a oval shape so it does help with the airflow coming through the back to the front and where your normal face would be and a lot of people like the air flowing towards their face um, i have people that don't like that however for those that are interested to see how the airflow is impacted i put a few indicator mark using these strings and just tape it onto the column as well as the display and also the visor comparing that with the passenger side visor and the dash so let's go ahead and turn on the air conditioning so right now it's on level one with the front vent on and you can see some of the strings are already moving so i'm going to center this to imitate that the airflow is coming directly at your face the driver and then also the passenger okay so this is at level one of the fan speed and you can see the string on the driver's side visor is slightly moving and same with the passenger the passenger is actually moving a little bit more but you are getting some airflow through this column here through the steering wheel coming outward so you're not getting direct airflow right now and this does block some of the airflow but it is coming around this circular uh, display so in comparison there's other display out there that actually sits on this dash that actually completely blocked airflow um, coming for your face as well as your surrounding uh, facial area as well so let's go ahead and bump up the speed and see what happens we're going to do 50 percent at fan speed 5 this is typically the fan speed I have it on us. And let's see. So again, we're getting airflow around here past the steering wheel. Some airflow coming through here. Not much from this column here, but there is some airflow. So you will be getting some, some airflow towards your face. And from the visor, definitely direct airflow to your face. And uh, the driver's side visor, this is barely moving. So you are getting some circulation, but not that strong fan airflow that you normally would get if you didn't have the display. However, it's not blocking it completely. So let's pump this up to fan speed 10. Okay, with the, with the vent directly to the driver face, they are getting airflow right here around, around the actual display itself. The visor, the visor uh, string is actually moving a lot more now, but in comparison to the passenger side, you're losing about maybe 70% of direct airflow but you're still getting some so for most people this will be just fine because people don't like air blasting into their face but we're gonna move this around to see if we can go around the actual display
All right, so now when you split the, the vent up, you actually get a lot more airflow coming around the display. So this air coming, I can feel it here. And that should be hitting your ears. But still, compared to the passenger side, you know, you're getting a lot of airflow coming to your face here. Again, if you enjoy this spurts of air blasting into your face, this display might, uh, might reduce that experience. You will still get some airflow, but not the same amount. Now let's realistically put this at a speed that most people will use is either six or seven especially on a hot day they would blast this at six or seven during the winter months you probably will have this at two or three and you don't want heat blasting in your face anyway so i don't have any concern uh, during winter months but summer months if you enjoy that cold air flowing through your face you're probably gonna have to bump up to nine or ten to get that same experience and then the key is to split the vent and that gives you that ability to run the air across and around the cluster and this cluster is not um, designed where uh, it's gonna fully block out airflow because it sits on top of your steering wheel column versus some of the other display that sits on top of your dash and actually on top of your vent itself that will for sure block a lot of the air that comes through, through the vents. So I think if you really want a display and you want that front facing cluster, this is probably one of the best out there today that is available that will not block too much of the airflow hitting your face. It actually doesn't block any airflow coming out of the vent. It's just that direct airflow to your your face will be reduced by, I would say, 60 to 70% of what you normally would get. So hopefully you find this video helpful in deciding whether this top fit instrument cluster is right for your Tesla Model 3 or why. We really like it. We left it here. It was pretty easy to install. The only challenge was getting that plug to the computer in. Uh, it was easy to get out, but it was slightly difficult. I have larger hands, so that doesn't help either. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Catch you all next time.